I get it. You're worried about Halo Infinite's release date. How come it didn't get one when Forza Horizon 5 gets announced out of nowhere and gets its, and then even Starfield, a game that's more than a year out, gets one? Many others have done this video maybe, but I just wanted to assure to you, Halo Infinite is not getting delayed. Again, it, it's, it's coming out this year. It's coming out holiday 2021. While yes, that Xbox Bethesda showcase had a ton of release dates and release windows in it, it still kept Halo Infinite for whatever reason. But there is a specific reason for that. That is not the game being, you know, in development hell or, you know, delayed. It has to do with one thing, timing. Halo Infinite is possibly the most important release that Xbox has had in many years, maybe even like a decade. Because while yes, Xbox has had this momentum of all their new studios and whatnot, and now they're finally, you know, releasing those games and hopefully they are quality good, Halo is the face. It is the face of Xbox. When you think of Nintendo, you don't think, oh, Mario kind of has some eh games and like, I don't care about the property. And then you don't look at PlayStation, look at God of War, and it's like, oh, some of those games ain't good. Halo was that up until Halo 4 and 5, and now Infinite needs to bounce back. I did a whole video about that, so I'll not talk about that further, but just know it's a very important release for Xbox as a brand. And for a game to be successful, it's not just about it reviewing well, it is about it being played by a lot of people. Do you remember a little game called Titanfall 2, AKA one of the most underrated first person shooters that was ever released last gen? Yeah, that was a game that was released among the likes of Gears 4, Battlefield 1, I think EA's very own. I feel like there was something else too that released that month, but because it was around those shooters, Titanfall 2, this game that people regard as like a seriously awesome multiplayer, but one of the best first person shooter campaigns we have had, it got buried under these super duper big franchises. And that is why Xbox just wants to be cautious about this. They don't want to release it at a time that Halo Infinite could get buried. It's like a YouTube video. Like it's got to do super well in the first two days you release it, otherwise it's gonna get buried. And the back half of 2021 is getting pretty crowded. Two other quick reasons though, is that this is still an Xbox One release. And if it gets pushed into 2022, what's the point of Xbox One anymore? They have to release it soon for the Xbox One to still be relevant, especially with all this xCloud stuff they're doing. Even Phil Spencer kind of confirmed this in an interview. He said that we know the few weeks that we would want to release the game, but we're just still deciding on when. So then this begs the question, when will Halo Infinite get released? Not October. No way in October, dude. October, you got Metroid Dread on Nintendo's side, but then on Xbox itself, you got Back for Blood coming to Day Pass Day 1 and Battlefield 2042. Stay away from October. September is actually a pretty clear month currently right now, I think. And heck, Reach and ODST released in September, so possible but instead of saying fall 2021 they did say holiday so i'm pretty certain that means november or december and everybody's leaning towards you know the anniversary date for halo which i think is like november 15th or something like that i don't know i feel like the back half of november is a pretty good spot for them right now because they are having forza horizon 5 release in early november and that's a very different game than halo but it's still like one of their games that has a chance of burying Xbox users in it. And Halo is gonna be an Xbox exclusive, so that's just a chance. So in my opinion, it's the back half of November or just sometime in December, which would be a first for Halo, actually. I don't think there's been a Halo release in December. But Xbox probably could be playing chicken to see when the heck is Horizon Forbidden West coming out from PlayStation and COD. Is there a COD game coming out this year? Are they doing it? There's a COD like every year. Are they doing it? When is that coming out? That's what I mean. I think Xbox is just really trying to pay attention to what's going on. And they want Infinite to release at like the best time it can to get the best exposure it can and the best launch that it can so it can be successful. Because they've spent the entire year polishing the game. So it's, it's time. When do you think Halo Infinite will be released? I'm gonna guess November 23rd. That's my very specific date. I bet Halo Infinite will come out. It's on a Thursday, just before the weekend. But what do you think? When will Halo Infinite launch its, you know, release date? And maybe where will we, where will we find that out? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And to follow the Halo Infinite hype and last Smash character and much more, you know, just gaming hype here, subscribe to the channel. It's been Samurai Kibuji. Pleasure to talk with you, and I'll chat with you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be geek, be proud, and be awesome.